All right, now that I have my eight colors chosen over here, okay, now I've got to figure out what exactly, where I'm going to be painting these in my painting. Okay, let's go back over. I'm going to try something. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with my dark values, okay? Uh, I would recommend you probably starting with your lighter and then doing your darker on top. That way, um, blending is going to happen a little bit more. So let's start out with a lighter value. So I did my warm colors. I'm going to bring this value thing picker back in the middle, and I'm going to ratchet it right over here to my kind of, whoops, that's a probably pretty good one. So I'm going to say that... coming off of there. All right, I'm gonna say that that's kind of my skin general, my skin value right there. So I've got my brushes. Okay, so I have my synthetic oil here. Okay, synthetic coarse round brush is a good one. You'll also need to come up with some blending tools. Now the blending tools I like, is this one here. This is just the blending brush set, the colorless, and then I also have the smudge pen. All right, and those that work out really well. So really those two and those two brushes, you know, are pretty good. And I've got a couple of erasers here as well. The soft tapered eraser is a pretty good one. And I've got my felt pen and my fine line pen for any kind of like little tiny details, but I'm gonna save those for last. Okay, so we're gonna start out with, we're gonna start out with this one. This is the synthetic coarse round brush. Okay, so I'm gonna check on my Zoom this in. Always lots, lots of zooming in here. So I'm going to check on my size. There's my size. I'm going to check on my, oops, my flow and my strength. I'm going to crank that up. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of tap it in there. I'll go around the little hairlines a little bit. Now that might be a little big for you. You might say, "Wow, I need Mr. Davis. That's kind of huge." So I can scale that down a bit to get into. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's what the problem is. Let's get that a little smaller. There we go. So I can kind of get into the little areas there. Remember, zooming is your friend. Okay, I've got that zoomed in. I'm gonna make this bigger. There we go. Feel that a little bit more. And again, I'm going pretty fast, so hopefully you're not going to go this quickly with yours. All right, so I'll zoom it out. All right, that's kind of interesting, not bad. Okay, now maybe I want some highlights. So maybe there's part of the forehead over there to the right, and maybe you've got some highlights. So I'm gonna bring my lighter values in. And I'm going to kind of do some little highlights over here. Maybe there's another little highlight kind of over the forehead. Okay. It kind of looks a little funky. You're like, Mr. Davis, that looks a little weird. I'm not sure about that. Okay, but I haven't blended anything yet. So I might. That's okay. You might want to turn down flow and the strength a bit. It might be a little bit much, but that's okay. You know, I like to work fast and thick when I paint. So now I'm going to go into jump into the blending tools. All right, I've got to make sure that I've got my blending on the right size. And I'm going to start kind of blending all this together a little bit. Zoom in, my size is pretty good. And again, it depends on how blended you want. I'm gonna shrink my size down a little bit here for kind of the hairline detail areas. And I'm sort of pulling that lighter yellow into, and you gotta kind of watch out because it will blend in your pencil lines. 
into the other one. Okay, so let's sort of take a look, see what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna blend this one over a little bit more, bring that, drag that in a little bit more, kind of back and forth marks. All right, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, I kind of like what I've got going on there. Now, now I'm gonna sort of start messing around with the hair. So again, always start from lighter to darker. I'm going to get into my darker colors. So I said that I had kind of a this, and I'm going to bring that down a bit. But I'm not going to go super dark quite yet, because I want to make sure that I use the darkest, get in there with little creases of the hair, do that kind of last. All right, so I'm going to try, I think I'm going to keep that brush. I'm not going to go with the synthetic oil quite yet. There's the synthetic oil. Okay, so I'm going to keep that brush. I'm going to bring my flow up, whoops, my strength and my flow quite a bit and I'm gonna start hmm, bringing it around and I'm just kind of now I kind of went a little thick Okay, so it's like, oh, it's kind of interesting. I'm going to go back and I'm going to size my brush down a lot more so I can kind of do the little, oops, get rid of that little chunky thing. That looks pretty interesting. Kind of get a little bit of little, little chunkies here. And again, I'm just making random marks kind of as I go. You know, and I can kind of pull it around. You know, I can go back in with some lighter values and make some highlights here in a minute. But I'm just going to do some funky little hair because, you know, hair goes all over the place. So we're going to kind of do that. All right. That's looking kind of like hair. I'm sort of, sort of pleased with that a little bit. So now... Why don't I bring it into the darker realm a little bit more? I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm going to bring up brush size a little bit. I don't like that, let's try that again. I'll keep that brush size smaller, and I'm going to bring the flow and the strength down quite a bit, because I don't want it overpowering, so I'm gonna kinda, that's better. I can kind of do little chunkies over here and over there. And maybe there's some over here. Tap, 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 tap. A little bit over here. Tapping away, getting some little shadows in there. Let me zoom out and see how that looks. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. All right, I'm going to go back over here to the side of the head. This needs some, some darker values. And because it's hair, I'm choosing to not go back and blend it like a lot. So I'm, I'm liking how that's going. Now I'm going to go in and say I need some highlights because this person has some little frosty highlight bits where the light source is hitting it. So I'm going to bring this back up to where it's whoops, solid color. And I'm going to do that. That's a pretty good little highlight. And I'm going to bring it in here and I'm going to... Bring a couple little highlights, maybe a little highlight in there. I kind of like the flow that I have right now. Bring a little highlights, maybe just a little bit over here by the temple. Maybe a couple little wisps. I'm going to say there's a nice little highlight right in there. Maybe there's a good chunk of highlights in here. A little bit over there. How's that look? Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. Now, again... To me, that's sort of looking like hair. So, if, you know, I, I probably personally wouldn't want to blend it any more than that. But, you know, you can go ahead and you can blend this in a little bit more. See what that might look like. Again, you can always undo it. So if I kind of blend a little. It's not blending a lot because I've got the strength and the flow way down. So I can blend that a little bit more so I can bring that up. I can kind of play with the blending, really kind of mess that around a little bit and see kind of what that does. 
kind of interesting from a close-up standpoint. Let's see what it looks like when we fade that kind of back out, that little area. Huh, I kind of like that. But I, I kind of like the, the area over here almost any better. So it just sort of depends on what kind of details you want. And I can continue, you know, my painting from the same way. I can kind of go around, continue the, the rest of the face. I can kind of make some more highlights and some dark areas. And that's the one thing that's fun with digital is that you can, um, you can change stuff up quite a bit. Okay. So make sure you're using the brush tools, right? The brush tools, the oil. I like the oil one. And this one is the synthetic coarse round brush, which is a little bit smaller. I might come back with my pens and do some detail work, but definitely get these smudge pen and blending pen or blending tool there to blend your colors. And like right now I have out of my eight, I had two in my forehead and I had three in my hair. So that's five and I could figure out like a couple more values. I could even come in with some more highlights on the face.